Great. Well, good morning. Thank you, everyone. And it's great to be here at Mob Squad's Calgary office to share details about Alberta's newest immigration initiative for tech professionals. And so thank you to Irfan for hosting us here at your beautiful office here at the, uh, the Edison. Thank you very much for having us. And um, let me start off by saying, without a doubt, Alberta has faced its share of challenges over the last few years. And the crippling impact of the pandemic, energy price collapse, and as well, worldwide recession has been felt across our economy. However, through these challenges, Alberta's tech industry has shown encouraging signs of growth as well as development over the last two years. And in fact, a recent study by the Alberta Enterprise Corporation identified more than 3,000 tech companies based here in our province in 2021. Now, just to compare over the last 10 years, that's a massive 203% increase since 2012, 203% increase. And these milestones are promising for Alberta's tech future. Investors are noticing the exciting opportunity on, uh, on Alberta's doorstep. And we continue to see record-breaking venture capital investment, such as Amazon's recent announcement of a multi-billion dollar investment on a new cloud computing operation in Calgary. The emergence of a vibrant and growing tech scene in Alberta is a clear indication that Alberta's recovery plan is working to diversify the economy and to create jobs. However, we know that access to talent remains a hurdle for our tech companies here in the province. And our host today, Mob Squad, is an excellent example of how the sector has found innovative ways to fill the gap between talent supply and demand. But Alberta's government is also committed to doing our part to ensure that companies have access to workers to bring in fresh skills ideas and perspectives to our province because the faster that we can bring highly skilled and qualified professionals for these jobs the stronger alberta's overall economic recovery will be and that benefits every albertan from all walks of life and so as part of the alberta express entry stream under the alberta immigrant nominee program the accelerated immigration pathway for the tech sector is going to strengthen Alberta's workforce by providing a fast track to permanent residents for highly skilled tech professionals who want to live and to work in Alberta. So under this new pathway, tech professionals from across Canada and overseas can become permanent residents in as little as six months if they have a job offer in an in-demand tech industry occupation. Now, Along with priority application processing, tech professionals will also receive a letter of support from the government of Alberta if they require a work permit. And to uh, apply under this pathway, folks have to first have an express entry profile with the government of Canada. Candidates then submit information about their express entry profile and their employment or job offer with an Alberta tech employer through a brief online form at uh, alberta.ca. The government of Alberta will then assess this information and the eligible candidates will be sent an email inviting them to submit an application. So I encourage interested tech professionals as well as companies to visit alberta.ca to learn more about their eligibility, including a full list of in-demand occupations and for them to be able to learn how to apply. And this new pathway was developed in collaboration with Alberta's tech sector to ensure that it meets the workforce needs. And in fact, we soft launched the program in late December, and we're already seeing a lot of interest from our tech community here in Alberta. And that's a clear signal that this initiative can help us to attract the necessary talent to make Alberta a dominant tech hub in Canada and around the world. So in closing, let me say again just how bright Alberta's tech future is. It's positioned to be a cornerstone of Alberta's future economy, and Alberta's government is committed to making the most of the opportunities coming our way in this industry. We have all the advantages that anybody could ever want, and that's why we're seeing people flocking to Alberta in ways that we haven't seen in years. In November, we saw more Canadians move to Alberta than Albertans move away to other parts of the country for the first time in two years. 
and U-Haul. U-Haul has recently announced that Alberta had more one-way truck customers than any other province in 2021, and a 33% increase from 2020. What that means is that Alberta is definitely where the action is. So when people are looking for high paying jobs with an amazing quality of life and a reasonable cost of living, there's no better place in the world than right here in Alberta. So thank you very much. I'll now invite my colleague, Minister Schweitzer, the Minister of Jobs, Economy and Innovation to come up and say a few words as well. So Minister Schweitzer. Thank you so much, uh, Minister Shandro, and thank you to everybody for being here, and thank you, Irfan, for hosting us here with Mob Squad. It's an absolute pleasure to be here today to talk about the progress of our tech sector in Alberta. Just in 2018, we went from 1,200 tech companies to over 3,000 in Alberta, more than doubling the tech sector in our province. We've had three years in a row, 2019, 2020, and 2021, where we broke our venture capital record in Alberta. So what does that mean? It means we have homegrown companies like Mob Squad. We've got companies like Cement, Jobber, Helsum, Atabotics, Athenian, Benevity. So many of these companies are creating hundreds of jobs, almost sometimes month over month almost it seems, right here for high quality, high paying jobs for Albertans. This is leading to the diversification of Alberta's economy. We're seeing the city of Calgary rise in the rankings globally every single year for the last few years. The city of Edmonton, for the first time, be ranked in the top 50 tech centers in all of North America. You're seeing Edmonton become a hub for the health sciences and, life and pharmaceutical industry. Again, growing in this venture capital tech-driven space. This is amazing for Alberta's economy, but it not only is it homegrown talent here, and homegrown companies in Alberta, we're starting to receive national and international attention. As Minister Shandro mentioned, Amazon Web Services with its multi-billion dollar announcement in 2021. Plus on top of that, RBC's Innovation Hub being established here in the city of Calgary. Plus emphasis and emphasis, major global tech companies that want to be here in Alberta. And what does that mean for Albertans? That means that there's gonna be thousands upon thousands of jobs for them right here at home in diversified industries that we haven't had in Alberta before. That's encouraging. That means our recovery plan is working for Albertans. But on top of that, when you talk to the industry, and this isn't just one industry issue for purely the tech sector, but many other industries, is that talent is key for growth going forward. We're seeing this in the United States, we're seeing this across Canada, is that in order to capitalize on the opportunities that are presenting themselves right now in Alberta, we need to make sure we have the talent. And with this accelerated program to bring tech talent into Alberta, that's one piece of the, that's gonna help us move this forward and create further economic opportunities for Albertans, which means jobs, it means stability going forward, it means our ability, again, to restore the Alberta advantage long term. So again, this is really a positive day for us. I wanna thank as well the Innovation Capital Working Group that gave us advice in 2020, plus many of the other stakeholders that have been involved in helping make this policy a reality here today for Albertans. This is an exciting day for us. We're gonna see you know, high impact people come into our province of Alberta. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Irfan, the CEO of Mob Squad, to give us some perspective on the impact this announcement's gonna have here today. Thank you, Minister Schweitzer. Good morning, everyone. We're extremely excited here at Mob Squad to host this announcement, an important initiative of the government of Alberta to help the Alberta technology and innovation ecosystem. At Mob Squad, we know that technology and innovation is critical to the success of Alberta's economic recovery, our growth, our diversification, and ultimately success. As the minister said, Alberta is seeing record-breaking investment in venture capital and an increasing number of tech companies that are starting here, growing here, or expanding to Alberta. With this comes an increasing demand for tech talent, and this demand is only expected to grow larger. Here at Mob Squad, we offer tech companies a competitive advantage by matching them with talent from around the world. 
In fact, we've brought people from Nigeria, Portugal, Russia, Ukraine, China, India, Bangladesh, Vietnam, Turkey, Costa Rica, Brazil, literally from around the world here to Canada to partner with our innovation ecosystem. And this accelerated pathway in Alberta is a competitive advantage for this province. It'll help support the momentum of the tech innovation ecosystem and allow us to attract highly talented workers here. Ultimately, that will grow our technology innovation economy. As we know, technology companies really need only two ingredients for success, capital plus labor. If we're able to have an advantage on labor by bringing the very best to this province, we know that will attract and retain the very best companies here and ultimately help grow our economy. I want to thank the government of Alberta for introducing this very innovative policy, I think a leading policy in the entire country. And in fact, at Mob Squad, we're proud to say that we hope to be the very first to use this policy. Earlier today, we identified a Russian national living in Australia who wants to come to Canada. And we made him an offer to join us at Mob Squad in Calgary at a salary well north of $100,000 a year. And he accepted. And we hope to use this program to bring him here. We're excited to be part of this program. We look forward to seeing how others also use this program to help grow our economy here and be part of Alberta's economic recovery plan. Thank you to the government of Alberta for taking this important step forward. We appreciate it and we hope that others are able to use this program as, as we are. I'd like to now uh, introduce my friend and colleague, the president of the Calgary Chamber of Commerce, Debbie Edlin. Thank you, Irfan. Your comment about uh, labor and capital made me think of Adam Smith and the economics lessons that we all learned in first year economics. Land, labor, and capital, and we also know that we have the land and the space to accommodate the companies that we want to attract to the province to continue to diversify our economy. We've heard this morning that in 2018 there were just 12, 1,200 tech companies in Alberta, and today, three years later, we exceed 3,000. With that kind of growth, it's easy to imagine the opportunity and the challenge of ensuring we attract and keep the skills we need and the talent to maintain this promising momentum. Alberta is competing with the rest of the world in the race to attract and retain tech talent. Making it easier for skilled people to work and live here is a critical step forward in ensuring we can bring the talent to support the diversification of our economy and increase economic growth and productivity. This immigration pathway, combined with investments like yesterday's announcement of a mentorship program for newcomers, will eliminate barriers to employment for newcomers who arrive ready, willing, and able to work and put their skills to work right away. Attracting experts with the specialized skill sets we don't currently have or need more of means that we can grow and scale existing companies and create new ones. We have to remember tech is an enabler, which means it helps companies in many sectors be more productive and more profitable. And all of this is vital to the economic recovery and diversification of the city and province. Programs like these ensure we can accelerate the opportunity to build and strengthen our tech sector for the benefit of everyone in Alberta. A clearer and more focused path to immigration for skilled tech talent will accelerate sector growth, which has already seen tremendous gains thanks to the hard work of tech innovators and entrepreneurs who've laid the groundwork taken risks and propelled their ideas from concept to creation. We have so many exciting stories. Accelerators like Avatar Innovations working with energy companies and post-secondary institutions to unlock new technologies and processes that address the industry's biggest challenges. Neo Financial, which has just leased space in this building, the Edison building, and is adding to its footprint in the fintech world. Atabotics, which is reinventing the supply chain through automation and innovative warehousing solutions. Summit Nanotech, developing lithium extraction technology to power our clean energy future and a graduate of the CDL Rockies program at the University of Calgary's Haskane School of Business. We have Greengate Power, building the largest solar farm in Canada and selling the power to Amazon Web Services. Providence Therapeutics, a Calgary-based company that manufactures mRNA vaccines. These are just a few examples of the exciting opportunities that exist in this city and in the province. These companies, and literally thousands more, 
need the knowledge workers of today and tomorrow to reach their goals. And that's why today's announcement is an important step to bridging the talent gap, bringing the people we need and the skills to realize our full economic potential. We look forward to working with the province as we work on developing our talent within Alberta, attracting individuals with the skill sets we need to ensure our economy continues to grow and doing the work we need to keep talent here by ensuring our provinces and city cities are welcoming, inclusive, and vibrant, and that the opportunities before all of us know no limits. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll now uh, take some questions. Um, Operator, can you please put through the first call? I'll have one question and then uh, one follow-up for each uh, question. Thank you. Thank you, yes. The first question is from Tiffany Roquette, CBC French. Hi, um, this question for whoever wants to take it. I'm just wondering, because you said how much there's a competition for talent worldwide, how is this uh, program going to compete to with other jurisdictions? Are there other provinces already offering an express entry ways for tech or uh, states in the United States where immigration is uh, easier? Uh, fantastic questions. So uh, first, we have as provinces agreements with the federal government because we all both have joint jurisdiction over immigration. So we have an agreement. We get to nominate 6,250 people here in Alberta. And every province gets a certain number that they get to nominate. And the feds promise that they're going to process our nominees as quickly as they, they can. So we in Alberta have, have a, a few streams. One of our streams is the express entry stream. And the feds have an express entry stream. Now, um, and I'll, I'll let Irfan maybe speak a little bit about his frustration with some of the federal streams that um, sometimes disadvantage Alberta, for example, the, the global talent stream. And so because of past economic situations in Alberta, it's a little bit difficult for a, a tech company to be able to recruit someone in an economic way through that, that GTS stream in the fed, federal process. So what we wanted to do is, is be more thoughtful in how we are using our 6,250 nominees here in Alberta through our nominee program and being proactive and identifying where we can, can work with a, a, a sector in identifying pathways under an existing stream that we have. And uh, so that's, that's what we're doing now with this, this pilot with the tech industry is seeing how a pathway like this can help to work with that industry to make sure that they have the talent that they need. Um, I can't speak to, I mean, every province has different streams and different criteria, um, different equivalents of the Alberta Opportunity Stream where people who are already in the province can convert to a permanent resident. Um, but this is really meant to help an econ economic uh, immigrant, whether they're in Canada, in Alberta, or in another province, or whether they're not even in Canada yet, be able to come here. Uh, to become a tech professional. So maybe, Irfan, if you don't mind me imposing on you to maybe talk a little bit about your, your experiences. Uh, thank you, Minister Shandro. I think that's a really good and very important question. Um, and part of why we are so excited at Mob Squad about this announcement today uh, it's the right question to ask, which is, how much does this advantage Alberta relative to other jurisdictions? First, from a macro perspective, Canada is one of the easiest places in the world to bring technology talent to. We have a very progressive immigration system. It's part of why our economy has been able to grow so strongly despite COVID. Having said that, at Mob Squad, we have offices in Vancouver, Toronto, Halifax, and our headquarters is here in Calgary. And we've been frustrated by the fact that intraprovincially, it's been harder with the federal programs to get technology skilled immigrants to Alberta than any other province. In fact, it was probably easier in Nova Scotia than other places. Uh, and that's part of just historic um, structures and policies. We worked very closely with the government of Alberta for the last uh, little while with Minister Shandro, his team uh, and the department. And we would say that the program that was announced today is going to take Alberta from being one of the harder places to bring skilled professionals in Canada to, to the easiest place in the country to bring technology professionals to. And given Calgary is our headquarters, we're extremely excited by this and we look forward to using this program today with the case that we've identified this morning and, and for well into the future. Thank you. Thank you, follow up. Yeah, um, so 
That might be also, again, for Mr. Raji, but Mr. Schweitzer might want to get in. Um, just wondering on how much is this going to help with the talent shortage we keep hearing about? Is it going to be a, a few hundred people being brought in? Like, Can you give a, a sense of the numbers? Um. And, and, well, thank you. And another important question, and uh, since coming into this role in September, uh, many different sectors have highlighted for me uh, that Alberta is experiencing what's happening throughout the world, in particular North America, this uh, labor shortage. And so, um, and, and our approach to addressing the labor shortage here in Alberta has to be multi-pronged. And, and yes, um, how we are proactive in our immigrant nominee program is going to be really important in, in how we address that, but it's going to also uh, require a lot of other different strategies which we're still working on and, and hoping to be able to announce in, in 2022. So this is going to be part of it. And the extent to which it's going to, to address, like how many people I think you are asking us to quantify, we don't know at this time. And, and that's why we are doing this pathway as a, a pilot so we can work with the industry, work with employers, the 3,000 employers that are here, in Alberta to be able to, um, to address the, the shortages that they're experiencing currently. Um, so we're, we're looking forward to working with them in this tech pilot throughout the year. Um, but you know, it is, at the end of the day, still um, uh, only 6,250 people that we get to nominate in, in, the, uh, in, in the province of Alberta with the federal government. And we do have other streams as well, as I mentioned, the Alberta Opportunity Stream. So we're not sure how many folks uh, at this time are going to be included, but uh, we're, we're excited to work with this industry to, to see how this pilot proceeds. So thank you. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, another great question, and uh, you know, we know that there is a shortage of technology labor, not just in Alberta or Canada, but globally. If you looked at, you know, uh, up your country, the United States, as of uh, last week, there were 500,000 open roles for technology professionals. And in certain species like cybersecurity, mobile, AI, machine learning, data science, data engineering, in those areas, job vacancy rates are between 30 to 60 percent. So this is a global problem um, with, with massive demand. And if we have the opportunity to offer individuals permanent residency and citizenship, the value proposition to individuals living in many countries around the world is differentiated versus working in the United States because citizenship in Canada we know is valuable to people. Uh, this is a great place to, to make a living but also to make a life and build roots and have a family. And so we know from our experience almost every single person that's a technology professional at Mob Squad has come to us from somewhere else in the world and they want to come to Canada to build their home. Um, to give you a data point, uh, for us, as one company of you know hundreds in uh, in Alberta that are hunting for technology talent, uh, as of today, we have seven of our clients looking for 17 different roles and 50 open positions. And this differentiation that the government has announced today is going to allow us to make it easier to fill those roles. And you know those are just roles today, and hopefully we fill them in the next month and and keep going. And you know our job at Mob Squad is to take as many of those 6,250 uh, open positions as possible. But I'm very confident uh, that each of those roles will be filled. And what's exciting about this, if we think about this from a macro perspective to the average Albertan, um, you know at Mob Squad our average software engineer is a little under 30 years old. Our average salary is $130,000 a year. Ten years ago, we were excited about, and we still should be excited about the oil and gas sector because we created high-paying jobs for young people to be able to build homes or buy homes and build a family and contribute to our economy, spend money in our restaurants and retail to, to, to power the entire province. Our real estate sector is one example. Um, this program is going to allow us to have the second wave of that. This is going to allow us to create $100,000 a year plus jobs. Uh, to our city, to this economy, to this downtown, um, by bringing people with the skills that are coveted globally uh, here to Alberta. Thank you very much. Uh, operator, you put to the next caller. Thank you, Tim Brook, CTB. Hey guys, uh, thanks for taking my question. Uh, I believe this one is going to be directed at uh, Minister Shandro. Um, 
the question is, is there a local labor shortage in tech? I mean, I know, I know we just chatted a lot about labor shortages everywhere, but specifically uh, in Calgary and Edmonton, is there a, is there a local labor shortage? And, uh, you know, what are, we, what are we doing to remedy that right now? Uh, we've heard stories in the past before about people leaving Alberta because they didn't actually realize that this sector was booming so much. So, so what are we doing to really train people and keep people in our province? Well, it's much bigger than just, just tech, but tech is experiencing uh, labor shortages. But we also have to remember that we have in Alberta a structural labor shortage where we still do see in a number of demographic and, and geographic um, areas um, high, high unemployment. And so what we have to do is make sure that um, you know, we, we do have new initiatives like the one we're announcing today as, as a part of that solution, but we also have to, to work uh, with employers and with uh, others who are, are helping, you know, train and reskill, upskill Albertans so that they have the ability to enter into the workforce, get back into the workforce, um, improve their skills to uh, obtain better employment. Um, so there's there's quite a bit of work to to make sure that we're we're doing um, to to make sure that there are the Albertans that that have those skills uh, available for trades. Um, and, and for, for the tech industry and, in general. But there, there's a number of sectors that are experiencing uh, these, these types of shortages right now. And we're, we're really excited to be working with all of those sectors to be able to, to work with them and, and address it through different initiatives those, those shortages to make sure that they do have the skilled labor to, to fill those vacancies. I think we have you know, half of our, our, pro, um, our uh, provinces uh, employers, I think, are reporting through various chambers of commerce in the, the province. Half of them are, are reporting that they have vacancies right now that they're having difficulty filling. So we're, we're, we're really excited to work with those, those sectors to be able to, to make sure we're addressing those shortages. Thanks, Tim. Do you have a follow-up? Yeah. Um, another one for me is for Chandra, maybe uh, a little off topic, maybe a little personal too, but uh, just curious to know, I mean, obviously your, your new role, your new profile here, a little less public facing than your time spent as health minister. Uh, I just want to know, is there any part of you that, that maybe miss, misses the spotlight at all? Or, or would you say you're a little bit more comfortable now? Oh, well, like I, I'm excited. I, I, I loved being able to serve Albertans in my previous role and I'm loving serving Albertans in this new role. Um, it's, uh, there's a, a lot of new challenges in this role that, um, in, including in immigration uh, that, uh, and, and our employment programs that, um, you know, I think that uh, do, do need, in particular in this, this coming year with, uh, as I mentioned, the, what a lot of different industries identify for me from day one, their, their labor shortages, how we can address those types of difficulties has been incredibly rewarding and uh, looking forward to continuing to serve Albertans and, and work with this new team in labor and immigration. So, no, thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much for everyone coming out today. Uh, that concludes today's uh, press conference.